How's it going guys? Welcome to Nautilus. I'm Andrew. Today we're going to do another product review. Got here the uh, new Hammerhead Raptor. Uh, this guy right here is a 115 and uh, I'll give you guys a quick run through on what, uh, what you know some of the cool features the gun has. So uh, if you come on in a little closer I'll, uh, I'll show you guys. What we got back here is basically the uh, same handle as the uh, E2. You got the safety up here easy to get to, the stainless steel housing, stainless steel uh, trigger with the nice trigger pull. Side line release so your uh, line doesn't get tangled up if you guys do mount a reel on the bottom. Cool feature on this gun that the E2 also has is you can adjust the trigger sensitivity. If you like a light pull, you can do that. If you like a heavy pull, you can bring it up here and you have a little bit more of a, you know, more of a pull on your shot. Me personally, I like a light pull. Uh, got this little uh, this little guide here on the bottom so when you, uh, when you uh, load up the bands, the shooting line also doesn't get in the way. You got the nice shark fin, uh, shark fin tabs that are coming standard now on his guns, uh, which I like a lot because it's uh, easy to load, easy, easy to work with. Uh, handle comes. This one's a universal, so it's good for lefties or righties. They also make a righty version, uh, which is pretty nice. And then when we start getting over here into the barrel, you'll notice it looks a little different from the E2. Uh, this barrel, what it has, is a uh, a polyurethane. Uh, a barrel over the aluminum barrel so inside of this we actually have the aluminum barrel and then over it they put this uh, plastic sleeve polyurethane basically what you see on body kits on cars uh, so what it does it adds a little bit of ballasting so you can uh, go you know go with a little bit more powerful bands a little bit heavier shaft uh, absorbs a lot of that recoil and uh, when you shoot it's quiet just like a wood gun so that's kinda cool it doesn't make that chink that chink noise that the aluminum guns make uh, has a cool shape too. If you actually look when you load these bands, the bands actually have that cuttlefish shape, the, the barrel, so the, ba the bands line up on it, which makes uh, tracking pretty nice. Uh, on the tip, you're going to see more of the same as the uh, E2, the E2 uh, muzzle, open muzzle design, of course. There you can see the uh, line wrapping over. That's what keeps the shaft in place. Uh, you got the two band slots, one, one higher than the other. That way, when you load it, uh, load it back, it keeps the trajectory nice and uh, nice and solid. Uh, you got the, uh, the line anchor on the bottom, and if you had a reel, the line would just pass through under there. So, uh, all in all, pretty sweet gun. Has the uh, rail also integrated into the uh, into the plastic uh, stock, as you see right there. So it's uh, pretty nice. Here's that dial, so you guys can take a little better look at it. Just dial it up. You change the sensitivity. So, all in all, pretty sweet gun. A little bit more beefy than the E2, a uh, little bit more pricey, but not too much more. So all in all, I think uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice gun. I'm glad you guys came to check it out, and I mean, if you got any questions about it, feel free to email, call us. Hope you like the uh, review. Check you guys out later.